Like any other vector field, we can calculate the flux of the electric field through some surface. If we place a point charge at the origin and use this as a surface as sphere, we can easily calculate the flux and we get Q divided by epsilon zero. If we now take some arbitrary collection of charges within the same volume, we can use the superposition principle and the result is simply the sum of all the individual charges. Apparently, for any closed surface, the surface integral of the electric field is equal to the total charge that is enclosed by the surface. This is Gauss's law in integral form. We can apply the divergence theorem on the left-hand side and rewrite the right-hand side as a volume integral and find that the divergence of the electric field is equal to the charge density divided by epsilon zero. This is Gauss's law in differential form. From our intuitive understanding of the divergence, we could have expected this. We know that the divergence of a vector field produces the density of sources and sinks for the field. In this case, the sources are positive charges and the sinks are negative charges. Gauss's law is one of the four Maxwell laws and can be used to find the electric field given a particular charge distribution. 